the CPI numbers are off and they are really bad. Welcome back to another video. I am How to Buy Bitcoin and today we need to talk about the inflation in the United States. So the numbers came at 0.4% inflation month on month. The expectation was 0.2%. We are not seeing any signs that inflation is getting better, that the inflation is coming down. We are not seeing that. Year on year, it is 8.2% against the expectation of 8.1%. And you have to remember, these numbers are not the actual numbers. These are the government numbers that they like to show that it's not that bad. But if you've ever been to the supermarket or a gas station, you know that these numbers are completely unrealistic and the actual figures are probably double that amount. So core CPI is up 28 straight months soaring to 6.6% year on year, the highest since August 1982. That is a long time ago. So services inflation continues to rise as goods inflation slows down. All right, so let's take a look into the actual items. So this is for the month of September, and this is the 12 month period. So all items 0.4%, uh, food 0.8%, energy minus 2.1%, does anybody believe that energy is getting lower? Maybe because oil came down. That's the only explanation. Energy services going up. Okay, energy services is going up. Electricity is going up. Uh, gas is going up. All items, less food and energy. 0.6%. So even higher than that. Uh, commodities. Okay, commodities are stabilized zero. Uh, new vehicles, 0.7%. Used cars, minus 1.1%. Medical care, minus 0.1. Shelter, oh, 0.7%. So rent is coming out very strongly. 0.7% month on month. Multiply that by 12 and you get the yearly result. Uh, transportation, 1.9% month on month, even though oil came down. Medical care services, 1% increase in a single month. Yeah, those numbers are really bad. So in the last year, 58% fuel oil, all right, so this is the oil going up, 33% gas, all right, so yeah, we have clearly an energy crisis that is manufactured, it could be solved tomorrow, all it takes is a phone call, just say, yeah, we're gonna buy your oil, we're gonna buy your gas, and then they open, but of course, they don't want that, they want you poor, that's the World Economic Forum agenda, unleashed into the population, all right, this is the chart of food inflation. Yep, it's going up. Okay, what else? Shelter. So this is a very long-term chart. Let me fix this. Okay, so the numbers are really high comparing to pretty much anywhere since the 90s. Yeah, oh, rent is even higher than shelter. Okay, so 7% year on year. Again, these are the cooked numbers. The real numbers is probably double that. Uh, services. Okay, going up as well, but not as high as before. Services and food, yeah, that, those are bad. Those are bad. Real wages are coming down. So, of course, people are getting poorer. We know that. Even the government admits the real inflation is much higher than the, any wage increase that we are seeing. And people are starting to not be able to afford electricity bills. It's absolutely insane. The market has been down seven of the last nine CPI days and today is another one of these days let's take a look at the terminal rate expectations this is the expectation where the fed will turn around so the peak rates would be priced in at 4.85 percent uh, that is a little bit higher than before which was around 4.6 percent now the market is pricing in an 18 percent odds of a one percent hike in november so November will be the next Fed meeting and we could see 1% hike, but 0.75%, it is very, very likely. 30-year yields are nearing 4% for the first time since August 2011. And yeah, bonds are getting hammered. This is a big movement. Uh, okay, it's 3.85 to 4 almost. Yeah, for an intraday in one hour. Yeah, that's a big movement. 10-year uh, yields, 2-year yields, okay, whatever. Uh, gold slammed lower, so USD is going up. Everything else is coming down. Bitcoin getting hammered. Uh, crypto in general getting hammered. I even opened a short. I want to show you my short. Uh, futures are also going down, so stocks getting hammered as well. 
the U.S. markets are opening, and this is the situation. The futures are completely down. Down Jones, S&P 500, Nasdaq getting absolutely destroyed. Uh, European markets as well. Uh, USD is the only thing going up. So let's take a look at the S&P 500. If we consider this a head and shoulders, so this will be the first shoulder, this is the head, and this is the second shoulder. And we just broke through that. We can expect the price to go around here. So 2,500, maybe 2,600. This was the March 2020 crash. And the markets like to make this U pattern. And I fully expect the price to go at around these levels. So there's still about 30% crash on stocks, which means in crypto, we could see 50%, 60% more downside to come, which brings me to this short on Ethereum BUSD. I'm using Binance Futures, of course. If you still have a Binance account, you can sign up with the best Binance referral code. The link will be in the pinned comment. 20% off your trading fees for life. My point here is that I decided to short. Uh, this is my opening price. And I decided to short because looking at the inflation in the US, in Europe, it is a complete disaster. I think there is no way out for the Fed to not raise rates if they want to actually control inflation. And if they want to control inflation, if they're serious about that, they will have to destroy the markets. And in my opinion, they will try, but eventually they will have to give up. I think hyperinflation is coming, but before we will see a crash. Uh, that is my personal opinion. This is not financial advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing and showing my position. This is my only position here. It's not a big position. Uh, I only put less than $2,000 and the position in total size with the leverage. It is only $10,000. But I just want to make some extra cash. If the price keeps falling, I will keep increasing my position. So that way I can snowball this. Kind of like Luna. If you kept shorting Luna when the collapse was happening, you could have made a lot of money if you kept shorting as the price went lower without overleveraging yourself. So this is my strategy. If Ethereum falls 50%, 60%, 70% more, that will allow me to buy Bitcoin not Ethereum, to buy actual good coins at a very low price. And then I can just make a long from those capitulation levels that we might see. I'm thinking about $10,000 for Bitcoin and maybe even a little bit lower than that. We have to see, but this is my strategy. Let me know down in the comments what is your strategy. And if this video has been helpful, leave a like and I will see you in the next crypto update.